Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome to my channel update for January 2019. This is where I go ahead and go over what's happened in the last month, whether I've met any of my goals for the last month, and go over my plans for the month ahead. First of all, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all my new subscribers. Uh, we started the month strong, again, and more subscribers than I did the last month. Kind of slacked off towards the end, but that's understandable because I missed a few... I missed a few uh, video deadlines. Uh, actually, I did pretty good. I had set for my goal for the month was to basically settle into a schedule and get that schedule going. And I stuck to it, mostly. I had like two videos. I think I missed like one day of regular video upload. Uh, well, two days of regular video upload. And then one, and, and then two regularly scheduled uploads that I just missed out on entirely. Um... I think that's pretty good for a full month's worth of work. Uh, I don't know. It seemed to it, it, it seemed it seemed to get the job done. I'm going to be continuing to go ahead with that production schedule. I just got to get used to producing regular content because before it's always been like you know, as I have time because this does not even approach a full time job. Uh, but I went ahead and made a resolution for this year to grow this channel, and in order to grow the channel, I need to get the content out. Well, I need to. Pr promote the channel severely, but I mostly need to get the content out and work on the content's quality. Uh, and I hope, I hope, tell me long-time viewers, uh, you know, I appreciate the new viewers, but really, tell me the long-time viewers if you've noticed any change in the quality of the content this month. I've been experimenting with getting a few things out uh, more reliably. Uh, so let me know how I've been doing there. I, I'm really interested in knowing how I'm doing. Uh, in terms of what happened over the last month beyond scheduling, uh, let me look at my notes. Um, yeah, I picked up Indie Game Friday again. Season 5. Wow, I've been doing that. I've been doing this for, I want to say five years, but really four years, because, I mean, Season 5 implies that I'm starting on the fifth year. Um, yeah, I'm just, I, I kept it really similar to last year's format, which is basically a roughly ten or so minute quick Review not a full not of a full playthrough, but what I can get of uh, of a game in terms of what I can experience in between two to four hours. Uh, basically, going over the basic mechanics and gameplay because I always consider gameplay to be primary in a role playing game, as well as storyline. But but gameplay if it's not going to if it's not going to grip you, then it's not going to keep your attention for for whatever story. Um, and the game has to have had either a commercial release or a full release if it's free. If it has to have come into some sort of final format. Uh, no early access stuff. Early access is for First Look, which I will be recording more of. Um, but that's basically my requirements for Indie Game Friday, and I go from there. And People seem to like it the last couple seasons, so I'm continuing on with that. I'm still refining it here and there, but we'll, we'll continue, continue on with basically what I had last year. Expect to see more of those coming up uh, in terms of other stuff that's computer computer contact, content related. In terms of Let's Plays, uh, they're not up yet as of this release. But I have pretty much finished the main quest line in Oblivion. I will be going towards the Shivering Isles content next. And then after that, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to do Knights of the Nine. I want to, but at the same time, I fully understand that my character it kind of doesn't fit my character. My character is kind of on the opposite spectrum. So I may do Knights of the Nine, but it'll be like just for completion purposes. Uh, after that, in terms of what Let's Play I do next, I had a lot that I promised, and a lot is on my list. But fundamentally what it boils down to is I'm going to try to transition newer Let's Plays or or other things to my RPG player Plays channel, which I haven't even touched yet. However, I will continue to do Let's Plays on my main channel in terms of finishing up ones that I've started or doing new Let's Plays of games that are in series that I've already started. So if you have seen any Let's Plays that I've left off, 
And there's a couple out there that I could stand to pick up again. Or let's plays of games that are in series that I've already started on, like Icewind Dale series, like uh, like Neverwinter Nights series, like uh, Fallout series, things like that, which I've already started on that have sequels. Uh, any that you'd like to see me do, go ahead and post it in the comments below. And I will see if any of them gain a huge amount of traction and maybe queue that one up to finish Oblivion. Because hopefully, hopefully, with this new release schedule, hopefully I'll be finished with Oblivion before the next month's update comes up. Not entirely sure, but hopefully. Um, so we'll see where we're at on that. Who knows, maybe, maybe it'll take me till next month to finish off and you'll be getting this question again in next month's channel update. Um, in terms of uh, tabletop stuff, uh, I have picked up my tabletop reviews. I've started, I've started reviewing those on, a, I, I've got a lot of, I got some of my backlog out and I have a lot more of my backlog to do. And in addition to my backlog of, of games that I still have set to review, I started to do, let's, or started to do shelf of many things for some of the pillars of the OSR retro clone stuff. Mostly I'm doing that to get a grounding for reviewing other OSR materials. So I'm not going to just stick and do nothing but retro clone reviews for a while. I'm going to sprinkle them in with other stuff. But I want to get them out of the way so that then I can go into more OSR material and then have a grounding in terms of the reviews. Especially if I start doing more OSR focused uh, tabletop content in general beyond reviews. Uh, that way I can have like that grounding. I can point I can point back at these systems, which have been reviewed by other people, some people far better reviewers, but at least so I can point back to how I covered these systems and point back to what I liked or disliked about them so that then that can be worked into other OSR covers that I do. Uh, in terms of... Um, in terms of the format on those, uh, people seem to like the format I do. I the only the only thing that commonly comes up is I need to include more more images of the product, which I'm working on. Uh, there's only so much I can do with that because I don't want to I don't want to just flip through and like just show the whole like nothing but the book. But at the same time, I do recognize I need to get more more of that done. So I've been including more artwork and such in my reviews, and I'm hoping to just move forward in that. I will be experimenting with that on and off. Um, in terms of my tabletop, basically my tabletop actual play, I've been doing Tomb of Annihilation. I understand interest in that is like plummeting. Uh, there's, I, I only get a couple dozen views on those, if at best. Um, I am going to continue to post them because I'm not going to just abandon the people that like the series, but I fully understand the flaws in that series. Uh, I will still post them, but I'm, I may miss a week or two here and there on them because I will probably start slow rolling them out soon. Uh, and part of that is because I still have like 20 more sessions in the queue. So I've got enough to carry me through for a couple months at least. But the problem with that particular, that particular game is that, um, First, it hit a slow part, which I understand is going to is going to kill interest right off the bat, because no matter what I was doing for a long time there, the players were either really botching their roles on discovering things or not taking the bait when I included ways for them to get back on track with the main quest. I would like do everything but throw them back on the quest, and they would just ignore it. So for for a long time. Uh, yeah, it is. It's got to the point where where people are seeing now. They're kind of wandering through the jungle aimlessly. Yeah, um, I understand how boring that can be. But for those of you who like the series, uh, I, I I I will continue that. And the other thing that happened is that I haven't played like just in general for a while, and it was a combination of a couple things. I mean, we our last session I think was before December. Combination of a couple things. Some things happen in games, which, in game, which I don't want to get into, but which kind of killed the momentum on at least one player who basically decided to take a break for a couple of weeks. Uh, they have not come back to the game yet. I'm hoping they do. And then, just to, at the point where I was going to continue without them, 
uh, another of the players, uh, and this is the, the tragic part, uh, had a death in the family, and they had to cover it. And I'm basically waiting for them. I don't want to continue without them because they had, uh, you know, when something like that happens, that's a very, very good reason not to, not to continue with the uh, not not to want to not to want to get back on the game. Um. I'm waiting for them to feel better. So when they feel up to continuing, I will continue with the campaign, and then I'll I'll stop slow rolling it. But until then, I will try to burn through my backlog of episodes on that slowly but surely. Um, and this actually brings me to my next point. A friend of the channel, Rockin' R O F L. Uh, I've known him for a very long time. Uh, played a lot of played a lot of games with him over the years. Uh, he DMs he DMs a game on Twitch, uh, and I have not had a chance to watch him DM. He 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 has all the earmarks of a decent DM, a uh, pretty good pretty damn good DM actually. When he's when he's got his act together, I finally broke down and looked at some of the material for uh, that he does on um, on Twitch, and his production values are just just I mean, I understand some way big Twitch cast way way big Twitch casters probably have better production value, but as far as I'm concerned, his production values are through the roof. And now, um, uh, I'm I'm not only plugging his plugging his game. I, I'm I'm not going to put a link to it because I'm not sure if he wants me to link to it. But man, if you want a link to it in the comments below, I will pin that comment, dude. Uh, I, I will pin the link if you decide you want to you you want to throw a link up to that up, up to up to that channel uh, in the comments below. Just let me know, or, or not even let me know. Just put it in the in there. I'll see the comment and I'll pin it for you. Uh, anyway, um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, I'm je I'm jealous of the production values there. Uh, so it's actually made me think both about my Tomb Annihilation stuff I'm playing and about future stuff going forward. I've always wanted to produce more tabletop content. I wanted to get more OSR stuff together. It's difficult for me to get my players to play OSR stuff. Uh, but I would like to get a game together, and, and I've been talking about it for a while, and do an actual play of something I've written rather than just modules. Because a lot of what I do is just modules. Uh, so I will try to like write some adventures in a campaign. Uh, I I I. I, I Used to produce them all the time, but I've had a rough case of adventure writer's block for the, like for like months now. Um, but the next one I do, I'm really going to try and up the production values a little bit so that you, it's more pleasant to watch. Because I understand, like the current Tomb of Annihilation, I call it casual, and part of it's casual because I'm not really approaching the game from a really hardcore perspective. But part of it's just because I honestly wasn't I wasn't expecting to. Uh, post the Tomb of Annihilation stuff. I asked my players if they had any problems with me posting it, and they all agreed, yeah, go ahead and post it. Go ahead and post it as needed. But I never, I, I wasn't actually 100% sure I was going to post it when I recorded because I really wanted to just sit back and play D&D. &D. And honestly, when you play D&D, &D, uh, as an aside, uh, I, I know some people get get caught up in this, oh, everything has to be picture perfect, just like I see on Twitch or just like I see on YouTube. No, it doesn't. All you need, as long as you and your friends are having fun, then your game is a success, no matter what. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to play D and D with some friends, and if I recorded something, put on my channel, and hey, that was a bonus. Uh, so that's why that one's super casual. If if I do another one, that's made for the channel. Um, now I I've got another couple that I've been recording as well that are done in a similar casual manner. But if I do one that I want to put up, like like just flat up on the channel, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be having to put a lot more thought and effort into the production values, make it a pleasant experience to watch. Uh, anyway, uh, just just a uh, just just why I plug that, and yeah, man, I'm so jealous of, of the production values in there. I'll have to I'll have to pick I'll have to pick up my games fairly. Uh, other stuff, tabletops and taverns is still on the table. I know I said I'd be trying to get to it early this year. I said. Late January, or early February. It's probably going to be like mid February at best. Um, here's the thing with that one. I want. I I look back through my old my old tabletops and taverns, and it's mostly just me staring at a camera vlog style. And that's great for some things. 
But I, I really, just like with my reviews, I want to put more visuals in, and so I'm kind of, uh, kind of torn on how to, how to approach it. Uh, so I will be working on how to approach it. That, I mean, it's all scripted. I've got most, I've got a lot of, a lot of footage recorded for it. But I want to try and break out from the pure vlog thing on Tabletops and Taverns. So I've kind of, I, I was going to release some, and then I thought, wait a minute, let, let me, let me take a step back and see what I can add otherwise to make it a, a, a more reasonable experience so you know as soon as i've got the bugs worked out those will start hitting uh those will start hitting the channel pretty soon um you know i want i want to have something more than just this face uh in, in the tabletops and tavern stuff um and here's here's where that leaves me uh, i have the rpg story time which some people seem to like and that's going to continue and I was initially intending to like either alternate or at least break up uh, on Thursday releases, tabletops and taverns, and RPG story time. I'm not ready to put out my next tabletops and taverns, and I'm not ready to do my next RPG story time. So the next couple ones may I said I, I said I'm trying to get away from vlogs for tabletops and taverns, but I may just do a few filler vlogs between now and then to release on on Thursdays. In fact, this one uh, this one may go live on a Thursday uh, in, in lieu of my RPG story time. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Maybe? I don't know. What is Thursday? Is Thursday, uh, is Thursday still January? That's a good question. Is Thursday still January? Uh, yeah, Thursday is the 31st. So yeah, this will probably go, go live in lieu of my RPG story time. And then after that, I'll probably do a few vlogs. I know, I want to get away from vlogs, but I will probably do a few vlogs on some RPG subjects. And then we'll see either Tabletops and Taverns or RPG Storytime, and then we'll mix it up a little bit going forward from there. So that's what to expect from that. Um, in terms of, you know, in any general, I'm, I want to experiment with some more, vi some more formats of videos for specials going forward. So you may see some of those pop up I don't know if they're going to be in place of anything, but they may just be scattered here and there. I've got several ideas people have given me over the years, and I've already talked about a few of them in my December one going forward. Um, so you may see some variations, or some variations on my usual format going forward, and I'll experiment with them on these, you know, other interim videos. Um, you know, once I've got used to this whole regular content production thing, then I will. Uh, I will work on other things. That's basically my main goal going forward. For the next month or so, um, I'll get used to producing content on the regular because I'm, I'm loving this new schedule. It's letting me get things done. It's hard because it's a lot of work, but it's a lot more work than I really can justify spending on my channel at the moment, but I want this channel to take off. If not like a rocket, at least continue its trajectory upwards. Um, and I feel like going forward, that would be the best bet. So once I've got used to this, once I got used to this, this production schedule, I'm going to fill in the gaps, kind of fill in some of the videos that are still missing that I kind of promised. And then going forward, then I'll, then I'll worry about extra stuff to, to put in going forward from that. Um, and then also I want to produce some things other than videos. Uh, I've still got my Patreon up. I've still got my Patreon up, and I, 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 I appreciate every single one of you who has continued to contribute either through that or through direct donations. Both of them are the lifeblood of this channel for a moment, because I can't afford stuff to review <laughs> without it. That's that's basically going uh, basically with that. But I'm also going to work on. I've settled on producing some sort of product, maybe tabletop related, maybe otherwise. Probably a book or adventure or something. I've got a couple projects in the background that I'm toying with and working on. I will let you know more when when they're closer to being finished. I will let you know the specifics when they're closer to being finished. Um, Patreons will probably hear before the regular channel does. Uh, but... But the regular channel will eventually hear about these additional projects. I don't want to detract from my work on the channel, so I'm basically going to work on getting this production schedule more efficient. This is what I'm going for for the next month. Every you know every every time I do on these updates, I go go on my plans for the next month. 
Next month is going to be make the make the production schedule more efficient, continue what I'm doing, fill in the gaps here and there, and try to make it efficient enough where I've got more space in my schedule to start producing other things. And then uh, we can see where I'm at at the end of February on that, uh, in terms of that. Um, anyway, thank you. Uh, oh, one more thing before I before I go to my close. I want to do something. I want to do something with the website. Websites rpgcrawler.com, and I started by doing some articles that pertain to like tabletop role playing game. I did a couple blog posts on that. Uh, but I got so busy that it's basically turned into a dumping ground for my videos. And in fact, only some of the videos are the ones I remember to share. So I kind of want to do more to that site on that end to get that, you know, to get people more interested in that. Uh, if you've got any ideas, let me know in the description or let me know in the comments below if you've got any ideas for what I could do to revitalize my, so my site. You know, I don't even know if I can at this point, but I'll, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. Um, you know, anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you all for your continued support. Thank you for those direct uh, direct contributions through Patreon. Uh, thank you even if it's just, you know, if you want to support the channel e and you can't afford something like that, at least, you know, every, everybody who, who views my videos, who comments on my videos, and who shares my videos you're doing a good you're you know you're doing a great service to me and I, and I really appreciate it so i will continue to try to be entertaining i will continue to try to be informative for now this has been the rpg crawler if you like what you've seen as usual like comment comment especially cuz this is where i get my feedback from on my on my monthly uh, updates and subscribe for more rpg content both tabletop and computer until next time, take care and goodbye.